are from group 11. Our team name is the Electronic uh, Automobiles Marine. Hi, my name is Mohammed. I'm studying computer engineering. I'm the one who's in charge in uh, GPS integration. Hello, I'm Abdullah. I'm a computer engineer and I'm in charge of the microprocessor part, which is represented in this HP pavilion, which holds the software module. Hello everyone, my name is Kun. Uh, I will focus on the power supply system in this project. Hello, my name is Ephraim. I'm an electrical engineer and I'm programming the microcontroller part. Hi, my name is Richard. I'm an electrical engineer. I'm going to be working on the electric motor part of the project. Our project is an autonomous vessel that will th travel through a predetermined and programmed path as it collects data systematically and continuously. We have two motors that run at 12 voltages. We can supply them by a, a marine battery. For demonstrating this project, we connect them directly to these motors. However, in the completion of this project, we use a middleman. This one is the middleman, which is a DC motor controller. The DC motor controller will be connected to the Adreno board for adjusting the speed and for rotation purposes. For the movement of the autonomous boat, if we want to go left, we can adjust the right motor such as also, we can uh, adjust the speed to faster mode. We can even turn it off if we want to. The two motors can run in the same time as follow. We can adjust one of them to different type of speed. Many safety considerations were, stake, were taken in the design of the Electronic Autonomous Marine, or team. For example, the gyroscope ensures that the, that the vessel is stable at all times. Sensors were equipped to the vessel to make sure that it does not collide with nearby vessels. There was great care, uh, there was great care taken when choosing the motor that ensures its flexibility as it travels to ensure that it does not collide with underwater objects.